Project Zomboid is probably the best survival game ever made, ever, and I really want to talk about it. If you've never heard of it before, Project Zomboid is sort of notorious for taking a wildly different approach than your typical zombie game. Where those games usually aim to make you feel like you're some sort of post-apocalyptic badass, Project Zomboid makes you feel like you're yourself, a regular, unskilled person who is definitely not capable of surviving a zombie apocalypse. In fact, unless you're already familiar with the game's mechanics, chances are that your first couple of playthroughs will end before you even hit the five minute mark. And notice how I say the word playthroughs, as in plural. This is because Project Zomboid is actually permadeath, meaning that if your character dies, they're dead for good, permanently. This gives the game weight and tension, because you can spend hours leveling up a character just to lose it all because you left your fucking shoes untied. And while this may sound frustrating or unappealing to some, I feel that it brings a level of stakes and intensity that we rarely get to see in games anymore. For instance, you may find that your character is growing hungry, but you've already eaten all of the food that you had stashed around your base, so naturally you decide to go out and make a supply run. However, it's night outside and you can barely see anything. Do you take the risk and look around for supplies now, or do you wait until morning and risk your character growing weak from starvation? Project Zomboid presents all sorts of in-game choices like this without ever prompting the player to make them. It truly manages to make you feel like you're in an apocalypse because the weight of death actually means something. You don't just respawn and have to pick up your gear. You lose everything you know, all the levels you gained, and you're forced to start again from zero. Funnily enough though, if you choose to continue your game on the same world, you can actually bump into your zombified corpse, which will have all of your previous loot. If you look around a bit further, you may even find your old base, which has a really cool sort of mechanic lore-wise because it insinuates that you're just stumbling upon the remains of another fallen survivor. It's really neat and makes for a memorable moment the first time that it happens. Further building off of this, the game also has a really unique character creation system. Like most survival games, right when you start up, you get to create your character, and you can customize the way they look and the clothes that they wear and all of that usual stuff, but the player can also choose from a variety of positive and negative traits. For every positive trait that you choose, you're forced to choose a negative one to balance it out. So every character that you wind up creating will have both strengths and weaknesses. Say that you wanted your character to be someone who was strong. Well, a potential trade-off may be that they're also overweight. Or maybe you want someone who's agile and light on their feet, but was inevitably failed by the Kentucky education system and is now completely illiterate. It's a really nice sort of concept for character creation and role playing because very rarely in games are you allowed to add negative modifiers to your player. And after experiencing it in Project Zomboid, it's become something I wish we saw more frequently in games. On one of my playthroughs, I decided to spec my character out to be this intelligent, athletic, gigachad sort of guy, but he was completely deaf. I couldn't hear anything when I was in the game. So anyways, I I go to break into a house to get some supplies, and unbeknownst to me, I set off the house's burglar alarm, and every zombie within a three mile radius converged upon my location and tore my ass to pieces. And this ass kicking was completely on me, because when I was creating my character, I didn't stop to think how dangerous it would be to be deaf in a zombie apocalypse. When you have to actually stop and think about the repercussions of certain traits in the character creation. I think that's a good sign that your game is doing what it needs to. It's also worth noting that Project Zomboid isn't just a typical survival game either. In addition to your health and food bars, you also have to manage your hydration, stamina, boredom, illness, injuries, temperature, Jesus Christ. And these constant necessities never really feel like a chore either because they each have a way of making the player feel more immersed and surrounded by danger. Sometimes zombies aren't the things that'll kill you in this game. Maybe you fall from a height too high and manage to break your leg. Lacking the appropriate medical supplies, it slowly gets infected and your player dies. Perhaps the power went out, so you ate uncooked meat and contracted salmonella poisoning. You're unable to find proper 
medication and you watch as your player starts to move slower and slower. Or maybe you had a couple of drinks and go to drive back home. The alcohol dulls your reaction time and you fail to make a turn and crash head on into a tree. The fact that Project Zomboid has an accurate portrayal of drinking and driving is fucking amazing. <laughs> Another really noteworthy part of Project Zomboid is its environment and atmosphere. The game is set in 1993 Kentucky and being from the place myself I can confirm that they did a really good job capturing the small town vibe that the state is so notorious for. Anyways there are a ton of different areas for the player to explore including farms, military bases, shopping centers, police stations, and so much more. This isn't to mention the sheer size of the map where you can literally wander around for days and still have plenty of different nooks and crannies to explore. It's, it's really, really cool. Project Zomboid also has a really unique way of environmental storytelling. For instance, you can stumble upon houses that have been burnt down and standing outside of them is a zombified fire brigade. Other times you may happen to come across what used to be a survivor's base and stash house, but the empty bottle of bleach next to their corpse will tell you all that you need to know about what happened here. For a game that has no sort of NPCs, it's always important to have at least some sort of environmental storytelling, because without it, the game eventually just starts to feel empty. Luckily for us though, Project Zomboid manages to avoid that. Another one of my favorite parts about this game are the base building mechanics. I always found it super satisfying being able to go into a survival game, build a base, and over time deck it out to be the most creative pimp layer imaginable. It's honestly kind of gotten to the point where if a survival game doesn't have a base building mechanic, then I'm not really interested in it. Thankfully though, Project Zomboid has a great base building system. Players can either craft their own base from scratch or fortify a building that's already in the game. Having a safe resting point is crucial to your survival in Project Zomboid because at any point in the middle of the night, a zombie can break through your window and end your entire playthrough. So now you have to go out and find a hammer and some nails so you can board up those windows windows. Maybe once you get far enough, you can even find some metal sheets and some welding rods and further barricade your home. Eventually though, you'll need to find a generator for your base because after a few days, the power goes out. Just make sure that you leave the generator outside though because the developers of the game actually coded in carbon monoxide poisoning. So if you leave a generator running inside, the fumes will eventually wind up killing your player, which is an insane detail to add in, but it makes the game feel so much more realistic. So the game is brutal, realistic, has a great setting and character creation and base building, but maybe you still want more. And if that's the case, allow me to introduce you to the modding community. Project Zomboid has one of the most active and creative modding communities that I've ever experienced. If you don't like a certain aspect of the game, chances are there's a mod someone's made to fix it. And this doesn't even begin to mention the wealth of entirely new content that's being added added to the game via the Steam Workshop. There are vehicle mods, clothing mods, and mods that completely overhaul the game's systems. Do you want your game to have a grittier survival feel? Maybe check out the Inventory Tetris mod, which revamps the inventory system to look like Resident Evil or Tarkov. Oh, does your world feel a bit too doom and gloom? Maybe try a real world music mod that adds real life tracks that you can find and listen to in the game via cassette tapes, because there's nothing quite like being brutally murdered while you're listening to the Backstreet Boys. But my point is, in Project Zomboid, there's a mod for everything. The community has only built upon the foundation that the developers created, and it's really nice to see a group of players so committed to creating and bringing new content into the game. Long story short though, if you don't already have Project Zomboid, I would really recommend getting it. The developers have worked their asses off to create the most perfect survival game on the market and they're only continuing to add new features to it. The next planned major update, Build 42, is said to add animals and hunting into the game, which would introduce an entirely new system for players to explore. If you just sit down and play the game, it's so easy to feel the love that the Indie Stone has poured into it. Project Zomboid is undoubtedly the best of its style and quite possibly the best of its entire genre, and it isn't talked about nearly enough. I think a lot of of people see The Sims 1 graphics and are immediately turned off by it. And that genuinely hurts me because they're turning a blind eye to one of the best indie games 
of all time. At the end of the day though, Project Zomboid is what survival games should be. And I can only hope that you guys go and check it out and experience its magic for yourself. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. You know I love you. I'm out. I had no choice. My light went out. <laughs>